Erin. I want to share my five favorite exercises for flat abs. But before we get into the workouts, let's talk about the four major muscle groups that make up your abs. Everyone talks about the six pack. Well, this is the rectus abdominis. It is actually eight small muscles that look absolutely beautiful when you're lean and when you develop these muscles. On the sides here, you've got your internal and external obliques, which help with any kind of twisting motion or running or any kind of lateral movement. That's your obliques. Under everything is your transverse abdominis. It kind of acts as an internal girdle. So this is going to help shrink your stomach or shrink your waist when you develop this muscle. It's not easy to do, but it can be done. And I'm gonna show you how. Let's get into the workouts. The first exercise is the vacuum. This is a bit of a throwback, but it's the most effective way to train your TVA or transverse abdominis. And if you remember, this is the muscle that acts as an internal girdle. So if you're looking to make your waist look smaller, you need to be practicing this at least every other day. And I'm sharing with you the progression as to how to get the hang of it. You're gonna start on your hands and knees, round your back just a little bit, take a deep breath in, breathe out, and hold it and then think about sucking in your stomach to make your belly button touch your backbone. So suck in. The other way I like to think about it is, although I'm holding my breath, I think about inhaling. And obviously since I'm holding my breath, I'm not able to inhale and it automatically sucks in my stomach. And so from there, you'll move on to a kneeling or sitting position. That's the second easiest way to do it. Once you've got the hang of that, then go to a standing position. And the goal is to work up to three sets of 30 seconds. And so you're just going to hold it for 30 seconds, take about 30 seconds in between, and repeat that. With this exercise, you're not going to need waist trainers because you are training the internal girdle, which is stronger than any waist trainer. And this will actually translate to every other lift. It's going to help your core strength, it's going to help if you have lower back problems, and it's definitely going to make your waist look smaller. So practice it. If you're shy, start practicing at home. I like to do this on an empty stomach right after I wake up. It makes it a lot easier than after a full day of eating meals. The second exercise is reverse crunches. This is a great way to train the lower part of the six pack or the rectus abdominis. Oftentimes this area is hard to develop. It can be diet related, but it can also be training related. It's really hard to train those lower abs. So here I've got my back flat on the ground and I've got my legs straight up. I've made this exercise more precise by scooting up as close as I can to a wall. And the wall is going to prevent me from swinging my legs back and forth. As soon as you start really swinging your legs, you're going to pull in with your hip flexors and you're not going to use your lower abs as much. So think about raising your hips to the sky, three sets of 30. Exercise number three is the plank. This is also a total body exercise, but it works mostly your core strength. As an isometric exercise, you're going to hold it for 30 to 60 seconds. Think about keeping your hips in line with your shoulders. So everything needs to stay in line. I, I don't like for my hands to touch. I think it makes it a little bit easier. And then you can do side planks. So keep your hips up. I like to rest my hand on my hip. Keep your body straight. Keep your head neutral. If that's too hard, go ahead and brace your hand to your other hand. If all of that is too easy, you can go ahead and raise your hand up to the sky. You're going to feel it recruit a little bit better in your abs. I like to just keep them on my hips. So I'll do about 30 seconds on one side, then I'll switch and I'll do about 30 seconds on the other side. So you can put them all together. You can do regular, regular plank and side plank and then side plank. Do three sets of those. Exercise number four goes back to my track days. It's the Frankenstein walk. This is awesome because it's also a dynamic movement. So you can use this as a warm up because you're going to feel it in your glutes, you're going to feel it in your abs. Your abs have to act as a stabilizer here. You're going to use a little bit of hip flexors. So 
three sets of 20 steps total. Make sure you keep your arms straight out and make sure you keep your legs straight. And as you bring your legs up, think about snapping them back. So your abs are going to really have to stabilize both with the weight in front of you and with your legs snapping backwards. Exercise number five is walking lunge with a twist. This is another one that's great to add just anywhere in your workout or you can add them uh, or you can have them as part of the circuit. So as you're taking a step forward, opposite arm, opposite leg, try to keep your arms as straight as possible and swing the weight down to your opposite hip. So 10 steps on each side, 20 steps total, three sets of those. With this exercise, you have to think, the longer the lever, the more difficult the exercise becomes. So if you're just getting started, rather than extending the weight fully, try to bring it close to your body and then just opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep the weight nice and close. You'll still get those benefits and you'll get used to that range of motion and you'll be able to extend as your abs get stronger. These exercises can be done anywhere, at home or at the gym. If you're at home and you don't have weights, Grab a gallon jug, it's eight pounds. It works perfectly fine for weighted abs. And you can do these exercises two to three times a week. Make sure to combine it with a healthy diet and you'll be able to see your abs better. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell. It's gonna notify you whenever we make a new video. And don't forget to check out my website, erinstern.com. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train hard y'all and do some abs.